Hi viewers and welcome to another episode of On The Farm where we are vocal about everything local. I am Shakima Hanley. On this episode, we'll be speaking to the quarantine officer here at the, at the Department of Agriculture and we have some exciting updates, announcements and news for you. So I encourage you to stay until that time. But before we get into the discussion, we take a short commercial break and be right back after this. For each and every one of us, food tells a story. It starts with agriculture, and our actions impact its journey each step of the way. We have one planet and are part of one system. We must work together to build a better future. We need to reconnect with nature and work as one. Let's rewrite the story of food for a better, more sustainable world. Our actions are our future. Welcome back viewers. Joining me, I have the quarantine officer at the Department of Agriculture and I'm going to ask him to introduce himself. Hello, good day everyone. My name is Quincy Bard, the quarantine officer for, for Nevis. And I am here to discuss about quarantine procedures and the rules and any other thing that we, it is necessary to do. Okay, Quincy, thank you for being on the farm with us. You already let the viewers know what, what is your duty here today on the farm. So we'll go right into it. Firstly, tell us a bit, what are the functions of the quarantine division? The function of the quarantine division are basic. It just, we, our role is to keep away any pest and disease from the borders. These borders include ports of entries such as air, seaport, and postal services. We also, we also conduct surveillances on invasive species and quarantine pests. We also work along with the government to regulate legislations pertaining to quarantine and um, ensure that international agreements are, are met. Also, we do import certification and export certification. Okay, from all those duties now, let's narrow it down. Yes. You in particular, as the quarantine officer, what are some of your roles in particular? Well, my f basic role is for us, we do surveillance. Okay. And we surveillance for invasive species. And invasive species is any pest or disease that is not indigenous to the original country and it can harm the ecosystem. So in a nutshell, an invasive species is something that is not from here? Yes, and it can do damage. Okay. Give us some examples of some of these invasive species that we might have currently on island. Well, the invasive species that we are currently monitoring for right now is the Caribbean fruit fly. Okay. And we, we have here some surveillance systems what we, we use. Mm -hmm. We have uh, the, the fruit fly trap. So we, for, for this, we're able to apply a pheromone or tarsala yeast and it attracts the, the fruit flies in, inside and the, what, the, the fly around and the, the jaw. Okay. So we pu put it in to fruiting trees such as guavas, mangoes, etc. Also, we have certain rapid test kits that any test kit, any suspected pest and disease, we can rapidly test. This one we see here is a test kit for citrus canker, 
so we enable to once once the one once the leaf is infected have susceptible symptoms we're able to take a sample crush it and the test kit would tell you whether it is positive or negative okay yes are there any other any other invasive species you could speak about i see you have snake here yes we have the the corn snake mm -hmm. we have uh, the mango seed weevil mm -hmm. we have the cuban tree frog and we have me the pink mealybug all of those are invasive species that affects both home you home gardeners and uh, commercial farmers what about the vervet monkey yes that's <laughs> a that's a very very detrimental invasive species but they have ways and means that we can curb the area of the monkey such as electrical fencing mm -hmm. the, which is very effective trapping mm -hmm. baiting etc okay all right in terms of the procedures and processes that you would have to do at the quarantine division let's start in regards to import what are some of the necessary procedures persons would have to do when they're bringing stuff to the island and what do you as the officer do in particular when they arrive here at our ports all right when we're talking about import is import deals with anything that leaves the federation of sinkits and nevis okay. and we regulate certain not everything we regulate but we regulate high risk products such as fresh produce fruits and vegetables we regulate soil aggregates cut flowers seeds untreated lumber mm -hmm. So those are types of things that um, people need to come once they want to um, import and these. And also export? And also export okay. uh, as well. well. Okay. For, for our role at Quarantine, mm -hmm. we serve as a, a certification entity mm -hmm. that's saying that the country as a whole we meet their obligations whether it's to import or export mm -hmm. and we have two things we have the import permit mm -hmm. so if you want to bring in say some seeds or cut flowers you come to the department of agriculture you make sure you have your invoice mm -hmm. stating the type of things you want to bring in where they're coming from for instance if they're coming from miami and uh, there's a application fee of five dollars mm -hmm. so when you reach at the day department of agriculture you have to state your name where you're from it has a, 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 a identification number mm -hmm. and we have whether it, whether you need treatment we say it, it would need any treatment and that would be done at the exporting country mm -hmm. and uh, there's a, a obligation clause saying that w when entering the country it must be free from any pest and disease mm -hmm. and any banned products then uh, there's the name of the officer who issued it and the place and there's the stamp and when it gets to the um the importing country which is nevis mm -hmm. customs i'd um, notify the quarantine officer we do a spot check to see if everything is in check and meet the needs and then once it's approved once it's approved, people, they can uh, go with their stuff. One thing what we want to um, encourage um, importers, especially when they're dealing with the consignment of seeds, they must have them 
properly labeled and because most of the time when we come some of the seeds are not labeled and we cannot know what type of seeds are they also we try to let people know that they must have a accredited seed company which is very very important so those are the types of hindrances we does have in the importation of seeds is there a particular listing that can be located from or retrieved from the quarantine division that farmers in particular who want to purchase seeds overseas that these are the ones that you have these are the places that you have to purchase from well not really a a, a fast and steady list but we have a few seed companies where we recommend but if you find a reputable seed company we could uh, review it and and give you the go ahead so you suggest that once they find a seed that is not on the list they ask you guys first before they order and bring them in yeah it's it's recommended okay all right then in terms of the export as in terms of the export aspect of it what do you guys do the export aspect is uh, is twofold mm -hmm. mostly we have uh, people who want to be traveling and carry out stuff and they want to have the export certification when they g get to their destination they can display it to customs also we have farmers who want to do commercial businesses and they want a certification um, paper for the people who want to just carry out stuff we urge them to come to the department with all of your your products so we can inspect them the inspection process is very important because we can tell the condition of the of the consignment whether it is free from pest and disease and then once it's free from pest and disease we can we proceed in the certification process people have to know state their name their address where it is grown also where the, which country it is going to and list the list list the goods and the type of carrier it is going to whether it's post airport or seaport that means very important and whether if you, you you yourself carrying it or you're going to carry it to someone so you state there that person's name and that comes with a fee of five dollars also okay we're along the lines here now there's a certificate which is the phytosanitary certificate mm -hmm. where along the line would this certificate fit in <laughs> The, fight, the, the phytosanitary certificate and the export certificate is is the same. Okay. Is the same. Okay. Yeah. All right. Tell us a bit of what are some of the restricted goods that we have for the island. The restricted goods that we have for the island are no banana supposed to come in. But when we're talking about banana, we're talking about banana planting materials okay. so no suckers no planting materials supposed to come in okay. citrus again we no citrus coconut no coconut as well and we have anthuriums from the windward islands so those are the main um things that we we see a lot of coming into the country but they are basically illegal yes <laughs> okay all right is there anything else you want to add pertaining to the quarantine division or you yourself as officer that you do yes that we didn't touch on um in terms of regulations and enforcement the quarantine um division is responsible for the importation of of pesticides okay so when there's a importation of pesticides, 
<coughs> there's a board that regulates all pesticides coming into the country so so that it is safe there's a board that regulates all the pesticides in the country because the pesticide board is contained of people of various pro professions whether it's in agriculture customs environment health and people from the pesticide industry as well so they come together they decide on what comes in to the country so when you applying there's a license form the license is applicable if there if if there's a pesticide that is on the on the list once it is on the list and it's identical you can have you can fill it out the application process is fifty dollars so when we urge people to to um, apply don't buy, try to just buy one thing because you went to the states and you might see something that is on sale compared to those in ABC country and saying all right as as, as I get in a deal and then you don't know that you have to pay the fifty dollar um, fee mm -hmm. and if you didn't know it's just like almost the same once you doing it in small amounts mm -hmm. so when you come um, thing so you come to the department of agriculture with your invoice saying all right these are the chemical the pesticides that we want to bring in and we go go them over and we say all right all of these are on the list you state you state um the name the company their active ingredients and uh, how much you're going to want to to bring in and then once you get approved they give you a set period of time that you can allow to bring in whether it's six months a year ex etc however if if um you register have a pesticide is not on the list you can proceed for it to be registered and when there's a, 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 a registration there's a registration process meaning that you have to provide literature that is of scientific of in the nature so you have to know what effects it has on the environment what effects it has on humans and those type of things and mobility in the soil and uh, how you're going to use it those type of things and then the board goes and they do their independent research and once it's approved you proceed to the license and you pay for the license and then you're able to bring it in at a set period of time so that is what is quarantine in a nutshell also we try to as as trade um, increases we have different laws and regulation that needs up to be updated so we able to be a liaison with international um, treaties to making sure that we meet in the standards for international trade in in terms of quarantine and food safety okay it was a mouthful <laughs> so after this very in-depth and well expound role and duties of quarantine i do hope that persons were able to get a more insight on what the division is about yes, and yes. it's not just about going out and checking containers and checking plants for pests and diseases but it also covers a lot of different aspects yes. well mr bat thank you for joining us on the farm and yes. uh, we do continue to wish you all the best you yes. and your division in whatever you got to do as you continue to protect our borders yes, yes. <laughs> thank you again for being here with all us right. i would like to thank everyone 
and if you have a question feel free to contact the, the department if you see something that is not not you're not too familiar feel free to call so we could go and investigate can you please give them your contact information my contact information is um bad quincy at gmail or quincy bad at nia gov or six six five one eight seven one six six five one eight seven one thank you very much mr bat for being on the phone with us yes yes thank All you right. fresh local fruit and vegetables produced for our nourishment by local eat local welcome back viewers and it's time for some exciting updates and of course as you know we're in the month of february the love month and today is Valentine's Day. Therefore, what better day to share some exciting news with you. The Agriculture, the Ministry and the Department will be hosting an initiative ending of this month, Dub Love Agriculture. We will be giving out some seedlings and seeds to budding backyard gardeners, current backyard gardeners and prospective backyard gardeners. We'll be giving out seeds such as watermelon, cabbage, squash and more. Stay tuned and keep your ears to the floor so you can get more about this detail and how you can participate and be a receiver of these spectacular, lovable seeds and seedlings going forward. Also, the highly anticipated Open Day, of course, is happening this year, yes, and it will be held on the 24th and the 25th of March. So stay tuned for some more details as time goes by. And there you have it, viewers, another episode of On The Farm. And just to recap, we had a discussion today with the quarantine officer here at the Department of Agriculture where he briefly went through what are the roles and responsibility of the division and him as the officer. And also the exciting updates. Please remember to stay tuned as we progress so you can hear more about them. Until next time, this was On The Farm. I am Shakima Handy. And remember, we are vocal about everything local.